what advantages or positives, for example, can you see are in store for dancers in this new normal that we're in? We might have touched a little bit on this earlier, like we might have hit a bit, of, but maybe to just kind of put it together in a, in a more concise manner of, I mean, obviously we see the disadvantages uh, because we're so yeah. used to things happening a certain way. What advantages can we see that uh, can happen for us as a dancer? Um, I have, I have, I'll, I'll answer with, with one first. Okay. How we can like exchange. All right. Um, one, definitely um, self-assessment and evaluation yep. on your motivation and root of why you dance. Because, um, you know, we can all have different motivations. Uh, like, see, James, he got motivated because he saw JB uh, getting attention to the girls. So, no motivate you then. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with whatever motivate whatever motivates you to dance. But your your motivation and and the reason why you dance will always uh, affect your longevity. And if you know what I mean, if it's if it's going if you'll be dancing for a long time regardless of your setting, or if it's dependent on your variables. Kela, is it? Do you have to be surrounded uh, by people? Are you attached to the social aspect? Is it a self-fulfillment thing where every time you learn a skill, it, it gives you parang XP points? Or, yeah. <laughs> or is it just because it's a great release so you can just keep doing it regardless mm. if you're growing? So that self-assessment and sorry, evaluation is definitely, I think, for me, uh, it's, a, it's a benefit that we have now mm. um, in terms of self-actualization as a dancer. Na parang, okay. Ano ba talaga yung dance sa buhay ko? Mm, you know? And, right. and um, yeah. And for some people who, let's say, stop dancing during this new normal because they're attached to the social aspect. Mm. Uh, like, I'm gonna say this to camera. Like, that's totally fine. No one's gonna judge you guys for that. Like, if that's where you guys find pleasure in the dance, the social aspect, because it's very social, especially street dance, that's okay. Um, then let's pray na na bumalik sa normal para makasayaw din kayo, you know? Mm. Not, so, not everyone's the same, but the benefit is you get to ask yourself that hard question. Mm. And it is a hard question. So, maybe it's a double-edged sword. Maybe it's not a benefit. Maybe it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> so, but, but it's, a, it's a reality, definitely. Nice. Yeah. Well said, man. That's one. James. Yeah, I think, I think with that too, like, as a dancer, since you, you have taken that term with you mm. you can also even you know get be you know like give yourself a break you know like it's like right now you have a choice you know like you actually can stop and nobody's gonna blame you so like it's it's like it's kind of like a good way to actually like yeah reflect so you can actually just stop but also like for me personally what benefited me because I, I always love to share i mm. just recently realized that at this moment you can actually be selfish with your dance i mean you can actually if you're used to you know sharing like maybe this time you can actually do it for yourself mm. and like it's a totally different uh experience for me so i love it i, I mean i love that feeling that okay no no expectations from me right now so maybe i'm gonna learn light feet for myself Something like that. Maybe I'm mm. gonna learn capoeira for myself. Something like that. So, and I know Maya, you've been doing this. So I feel like mm. like a lot of times we get paralyzed because like, okay, it stopped. You know, my my life stopped. My dance life stopped. But right now, you can actually, okay, wait. So now I'm starting a new game. So where do I want to go? It's an open world game. So nobody's coaching you. Nobody's telling you where to go. You have all these options. So okay, this is interesting. This is actually exciting. Mm. So because of that self-reflection, you're going to see all the possibilities where you can go, where your dance can go. And I guess a part of that possibility is also actually stopping, you know, yeah. if you actually want to stop dancing. That doesn't make you a non-dancer anymore. You're still a dancer. Or yeah. You, you, you stop, but it's okay. So yeah, I think that's another one. Nice, man. Yeah, I like that. Just take, I, I'd super ident identify with that, you know, um, again, before all this, it was like work to work, class to class, mm -hmm. and then parang the whole world stopped, and you're like, okay, I got time for myself, and I can just, yeah. you know, be a hermit for a little bit and just, just, just study. <laughs> uh, I, I was telling Jess yeah. this before, like it felt like I got to start it, like 
but I, it's like I started the way I did before well, back in the States when, when um, I would just kind of go to the garage and just kind of dance there. It wasn't because there was a competition in mind or, yeah. or, a, performance or a gig. It was just kind of like, this is it, you know? Um, uh, I, yeah. I, I definitely, it's, it's, it's always a journey uh, in terms of, you know, what we do. So that's, 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 some, that's some awesome, uh, awesome insight. Um, and, and also just to kind of touch on earlier, like you also mentioned, I think some advantages for people is the fact that they have more opportunities uh, avenues in terms of learning, right? Because like you said, like, for example, if you want to battle that person who you would ha never have the chance to, if it was like a live battle, now you have that, uh, you have the opportunity now because you, you have so many teachers to choose from, right. And, 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 and grab your learnings each and every place. So that, that's a lot of good stuff that I think is going to happen. And I think it's, it's a tough time for everybody right now. Uh, mm. but like the more that we can sort of focus on the, on that, some of that stuff, it's going to help you sort of navigate this new normal that we're in so cool yeah that's dope man uh, a lot of good insights i love this talk again we can keep going forever but uh obviously you know we also need to sleep um but uh, i guess let's just kind of summarize a little bit or not summarize but maybe you guys can... oh, oh, oh. Oh, i want to add one last advantage that you have yes go go go, go. so whether you're, you're learning or not so you're right now if you're a dancer i feel like since everybody's online everybody's online mm. so this this means you can actually be seen more so if ever you want to you know like show people in, around the world of, of who you are like it's not just the Philippines anymore like everybody's online and you can use a simple hashtag and suddenly people actually see you from different countries so i feel like yeah so people are focusing on this stage mm. so you can actually just go there and show yourself like it doesn't even have to be like the best but Keep on showing up, and people are gonna notice you. You know, it's just yeah. Yeah, isn't it crazy the opportunities yeah. we have now to compare to yeah. back then? Dude, yes. if this happened in the '90s and you were a dancer, <laughs> how right? Over the phone. All right, so um, right <laughs> leg. <laughs> Yo, I just I just killed this beat. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You hear the music? You hear the music? You hear that? Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Uh -huh. 